She was one of the very few people who was in attendance to see that game. Kim, uh, good morning. What were the Browns saying after their latest opening day disaster? Good morning, guys. The Browns tried to say, find some positives. Uh, and the only positive is one game doesn't define who we are. Miles Garrett had said that uh, post game. The problem is all they could say was we just made too many mistakes. They had no answer for Lamar Jackson. And the great thing about Lamar was that what we needed to see in 2020, he did. We needed to see him use his arm more and less of his legs. Uh, that was the, the biggest concern that critics had about him. Um, and the Browns had no answer for it. They had no answer for J.K. Dobbins, the rookie running back from Ohio State. Uh, they just, you saw flashes of what the Browns could be under Kevin Stefanski, but then you saw same old Browns in a sense, the turnovers, not getting critical stops when they needed. How, how surprised were you about the way o OBJ played yesterday? Kind of, you know. Not very good, I would say. It wasn't great. It wasn't no. great, Keyshawn. It wasn't great. Um, yeah, you know, the thing was, coming into the game, Odell had said, the biggest difference is I'm healthy now. And I spoke to uh, Jarvis Landry on the phone leading up to the game, spoke to Miles Garrett, spoke to a couple other guys heading into the game. And what they talked about, what they told me was Kevin Stefanski's offense is going to be great for them. They're excited because – it's a scheme that allows guys to get open, you know, they, and they have so many weapons now with Austin Hooper and Njoku, and we're going to use tight end sets. It's going to set everything up that we're going to use the play action. Um, it's it's going to be run pass. It's going to be this diversified thing. So you expected, oh, okay, Odell's not going to get a ton of, of targets, right? Cause they got a lot of weapons, but you're going to hit him. He's going to have a big play. He's going to have a momentum, um, changing uh, catch or, or something. And I think he was targeted 10 times and had three catches. Uh, that's not going to cut it. And he had one bad drop and one catch. Uh, he, he went out of bounds before catching the ball. So you want to see better things from Odell. The Browns are right. This is one game. But when you're trying to establish a new identity, it is a setback. And they've got a Thursday night game against the Cincinnati Bengals. You, you talk about setback, one game. Kim, obviously – we know that and you know that. But when you look at Baker Mayfield and you look at his performance yesterday and, you know, is it – I know it's early and they got a new head coach yeah. in Kevin Stefanski. But is he – is he good? Like, like in all honesty, is he – Is he good? Or is he just a quarterback? Because we keep trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he keeps taking it back from us. Listen, you will not get me to write off Baker just yet. I think this kid is very talented. The problem is the Browns' lack of consistency as an organization, the amount of head coaches and offensive coordinators this kid has had, um, it's, it, I'm not using it as an excuse. It's just a fact. So now he's learning a new system, new head coach, with less time to prepare. You saw, I mean, listen, we saw Tom Brady struggle yesterday. You saw the Bucks not look like a, a cohesive, well-oiled machine at times. I think week one for teams that have new head coaches, new quarterbacks, new, new players, it, it was going to be rough, unless your name was Cam Newton. Um, but I think the problem for Baker is, a lot of people feel like you, Keyshawn. A lot of people like, yo, is he really the guy? Like, we just want to see it. And you needed Baker to come out and command the offense. So we're going to see. They've got three days to prepare for Cincinnati and Joe Burrow. So we're going to see if they, they go back to the lab and, and cook up something different. We'll see what ends up happening. Like you said, week two for them couldn't come fast enough, and it begins with a divisional matchup against the Bengals, who themselves lost yesterday it's the Joe Burrow era, it's the Baker Mayfield era, and they'll be on the field Thursday night. Best thing about football, sometimes after a Monday, you only have to wait a few more days to get it going again. <laughs> Kimberly, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, uh -huh. now, I, you know, it's, it's one of those deals where I'm hoping that he's good. I'm not wishing him bad, but it's like, even though you got a new offense and a new system, you still would show me something. Like, Show me something. Like, make me think you're getting ready to turn the page. And, again, I didn't see that yesterday. I didn't see where 
it, you know, it's like, oh, okay, I see this looks good. The overthrows, the 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 behind the behind the receiver, late throws, just different things like that. The pick. I'm sitting there and I'm going, I don't know. I mean, it, look, I don't know. I'm not an expert at it. I don't play the position. I didn't play the position, but I know damn well what I see. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.